and welcome back to Focus Atlanta. Again, I'm your host, Keisha Williams. Thanks so much for continuing to watch. In this segment, we're going to talk a little bit about another one of my favorite organizations. We're going to talk about Someone Cares Incorporated. I'm here with Ronnie Baz. Ronnie, thanks for being on the show. Thanks for inviting me. Well, tell everybody who doesn't know what Someone Cares is. Someone Cares is a AIDS organization here, based here in Atlanta, Georgia. We're based in Cobb County, and where we conduct outreach and education, um, prevention, interventions, and we also do uh, HIV testing and counseling. Wonderful. Now I've actually had a couple of events when you've been mm -hmm. kind enough to come out and do yes. some HIV testing. Tell us a little bit about why you chose, why you choose to do so much in the, in, in the African American community in particular. Well, um, nationwide here in, in the United States, um, African Americans make up 49% of the cases reported each year. So there's a need for someone cares out here. Okay. So that's why I'm at. When you go out and you, because I know you go out and speak and yeah. you go out and you know, you give pamphlets and you give educational information, who specifically are you targeting? Uh, our agency target mostly African American, MSM, and Latino uh, oh. population. Okay. So in, in most of the places that you end up going, do you find that it's difficult to get this information across? Are people a little standoffish? Like, I don't, you know, I don't need that information. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm safe. Like, are, are, are we completely in denial about some of the behaviors that, that we partake in? Well, what we do, we're going to um, different places where African American um, and Latinos congregate. So they're more receptive of taking the literature, uh -huh. the condoms, the safer sex kits. Um, you know, they take it and I don't know if they're using it, but they take it. <laughs> but they take it, they and, take just, it yeah. and they're more receptive right. to it. Yeah. Now, are you in, in positions where you're able to give it to young, young men? Because a lot of times um, we feel like people our age are pretty much getting the, getting, getting, getting the point. But what about teens and, and, and people who are just finding you know, themselves in, in positions that may put them at risk? Are they getting the information? Well, a lot of our population are our teens, um, youth that we uh, talk to on a daily yeah. basis. Um, they're taking the information. Um, like I said, I don't know if they're using it, but they are, they're taking the information. Well, statistically, when you say I don't know if, or if they're using it, are we getting better or worse statistically? We're getting worse. Oh, we're getting man. worse. And that's why we're still around. I mean, we have our struggles with funding and other uh, aspects of being a nonprofit organization, right. and we are a nonprofit 501c3 uh, organization here in Atlanta. Um, there are struggles because it, the African American MSM population here in Atlanta make up 46 percent of the uh, cases reported each year here wow. in Atlanta. So there is a, a a disproportionate number in the African American MSM community. This, Okay. Now, when I read things on the CDC, like CDC website and stuff, they consider MSN men having sex with men, right. but they don't necessarily consider themselves gay or, you know, bisexual or anything like that. Is that just for title's sake or, like, you know, when you say MSN specifically, are you not talking to men who consider themselves gay? Are you not talking to men? Well, that's the name. MSM was the name that CDC came up with um, to cover um, all bases. All bases. Um, but whether you buy or down low or you're openly gay. So. Okay. So it just covers the, it the covers, wide range. Right. Okay. And when you say that um, a lot of the, the pamphlets that you give out give information for African Americans and Latinos as well, um, Latinos, are they having the same issues as, as African American community is in, the, in, in terms of the numbers rising? In well, terms of they are numbers? slowly rising, but they are rising. They, um, wow. The numbers in their community are rising as okay. far as uh, HIV cases. Okay. But the, 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 since they're a small population, mm -hmm. um, the Hispanic community and Latino community is kind of hard to reach, um, right. but we're doing our best to reach them. And we can do better if we have, you know, sponsors and sponsors, correct. funders and <laughs> funders. things like that. Um, tell us a little bit about your website. Okay, our website is www.someonecares.com. ATL.org. I almost okay. forgot. <laughs> and uh, like I said, we are a 501c3 nonprofit organization based mm -hmm. here in Atlanta. So uh, donations are welcome. Um, volunteers are welcome to help us with our outreach programs and even our day to day um, work stations. Okay. You know. Things that you have to do. Yeah, right. day -to -day. So, in terms of your volunteers, is there a specific type of volunteer that would help you get the message out? For example, um, is it easier if the, you have men who are openly gay, or if, is it easier if you have men who look a certain way to get this message across to, to, to people to say, you know, this could happen to anybody? 
Right. We do. Uh, we welcome everyone, but okay. we rather have someone who can identify right. with the population in which we serve. Okay. So it makes it a lot easier. Okay. Well, thanks so much, Ronnie Bass. Well, thanks for, for having on me on. Show. Again, give the website real quick because people can okay. donate on the web, right? Right. Okay. You can um, reach us at uh, www.someonecaresatl.org. And our phone number is 770-226-0075. All right. Again, the name of that organization is Someone Cares Incorporated. And you can be that someone as well. All you got to do is take the opportunity to visit the website, learn a little bit more, stay educated, and, you know, perhaps educate people that you know, people that maybe um, are in need of this type of education. So please take the opportunity to do your part. The spread of HIV and AIDS can be stopped. It just starts with you and I. Stay tuned for more Focus Atlanta. We'll be right back here on CW Atlanta. Thank you.